give you some uh, background information of naming first before we can get that. So, a couple of definitions. Uh, let me give you an example of a, a transition metal complex so you can see what one looks like. And uh, we'll go from there. Here's an example. K. There's one. Yeah, that one will work nicely. Okay, so let me give you a couple terms. So here's the transition metal. I'll put TM for transition metal. Things directly bonded to the transition metal, aka all this stuff, are called ligands. Ligands. The ligands from Chem 2B are Lewis bases. What does that mean? They have an extra lone pair of electrons ready to donate. Transition metals are the Lewis acids. What does that mean? That means they're ready to accept lone pairs of electrons. So they tend to be positively charged. The ligands tend to be neutral with lone pairs or negatively charged with lone pairs. Okay? This thing here, which is usually outside of the brackets, is called the counter ion. It doesn't do much besides balancing the charge of the overall complex. So for example, this uh, transition metal complex as an ion would just be this. minus one, because potassium's plus one, so everything in the brackets is minus one. And so here the counter ion is not drawn, here the counter ion <coughs> is drawn. Okay. Uh, let's see. The other thing, you need to be able to always find the oxidation state of the transition metal. So, because uh, to name it, just like we did before, think of like copper two chloride, or uh, iron 3 nitrate, etc. You have to know the charge, the oxidation state. Same here. So let me show you how to find that. I'll erase this stuff. And we'll just try it for this example. Well, if you know your counter ion is plus 1, thus everything there must be minus 1. So now let's just write the thing in brackets, like I had before, but I'll just rewrite it. So this is a minus one charge. Then what I encourage you to do, find the charge of every ligand. So what's the charge of the ammonia ligand? Or what's the charge of ammonia? It is a neutral compound, zero. So you need to know that ammonia uh, what are other ones? Water, carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, all those are neutral ligands. Let me give you a note down here. So if you ever see things like this, ammonia, that's neutral, water's neutral, CO's neutral, etc. So another one, I don't know what other ligands they give you. Uh, oh. Nitrogen monoxide, that's also neutral. So remember the neutral ones. So in this case, ammonia is neutral. So it contributes to no charge. What's the charge on chlorine? Minus one. So that means set up our little formula. Cobalt minus, uh, I mean plus four times negative one. So four minus one charges. And if you want for completeness, two ammonias at zero equals the overall charge of negative 1. So cobalt is minus 1, plus 4, or plus 3. So overall charge of cobalt is plus 3. 